In today's class, we will learn how to solve the problem based on the projectile motion. Here is the question. An arrow is shot at an angle of theta is equal to 45 degrees above the horizontal. <clears throat> the arrow hits a tree. A horizontal distance D is equal to 220 meters away at the same height above the ground as it was shot. Use g is equal to 9.8 meters per second square for the magnitude of the acceleration due to gravity. <clears throat> First question, find Ta, the time that the arrow spends in the air. Second bit, suppose someone drops an apple from a vertical distance of 6 meters directly above the point where the arrow hits the tree. How long after the arrow was shot should the apple be dropped? in order for the arrow to pierce the apple as the arrow hits the tree. Now let us try to understand the question first. Okay. We will draw the picture of the problem. Then we will uh, try to do the problem. Here is the tree. Okay. A person is standing here and then shoots the arrow <clears throat> at an angle 45 degrees. The distance between the person and the tree is 220 meters. Okay. Now, let us write the angle. This is 45 degrees. And this is VI. And the distance is 220 meters. Okay, now let us try to do the problem. What is the data given to us? Theta is equal to 45 degrees. And then horizontal distance. Horizontal distance is also called as range. Here he gave as D. This is called range in projectile motion. Okay. <clears throat> now this is given as 220 meters. And then acceleration due to gravity A is equal to G is equal to 9.8 meters per second squared. This is the data given to us. He is asking us to find out the hang time of the arrow. What is the hang time of the arrow? Ta is equal to, we will find out using the formula Vf minus Vi. Kinematic equation is there, now. Vf minus Vi by A. Actually, you may be no, very familiar with this equation like this is the familiar form Vf is equal to Vi plus Vat. Am I right? Don't get confused with the suffix A. If you get confused, I will remove this one and I will write just T. Okay. This is not the, the hang. The T here represents the T suffix A represents the hang A arrow. The A here represents the arrow. Nothing beyond, not the acceleration. If you get confused, remove that A, then it will be easy for you. Now here, you the arrow is at an angle of 45 degrees. You may be observing here. So the arrow was shot at an angle of 45 degrees. That means you have to resolve the velocity into components. 
when you resolve the velocity into components, you have the two components, horizontal component and vertical component of the velocity. Now, horizontal component of velocity Vix is equal to Va cos theta. And theta we know, 45 degrees. So, this will become Va cos 45. Okay. Similarly, Vi y is equal to Vy, v, Vi cos theta, Vi sin theta. And again, theta is equal to 45 degrees. Therefore, it is this Vi sin 45. Okay. Now, here we have uh, thing is the arrow goes like this and then hits the fruit on the tree and then comes back and then rests on the floor. So, you have the upward direction, downward direction. The hang time is the entire time we have to take upward motion and then downward motion. The time taken for the arrow to go up and come down. Suppose this is a T up, and this will become T down. Okay, now how to find out this one? We have the components. So, here I will write T is equal to, from this equation, I will write T is equal to, first one for a going up, T up, Vfy minus Viy by A. Okay, now what I have to do is, I will write uh, the, when the arrow reaches the maximum height, its velocity becomes zero. At maximum height, you know this one, V is equal to zero. Therefore, V of Y is equal to zero. And then V A Y is equal to V A sin theta, this one, okay. Therefore, T up is equal to from this, we can write T up is equal to 0 minus V i sin theta over A is G. Here I gave, no? So, here it is, uh, we have to take the sign convention. When you take the sign convention, it becomes minus G. And then, you know, the time taken by the arrow to go up is equal to time taken by the arrow to come down. Okay. So, t down is equal to same 0 minus vi sin theta over minus g. So, the total time that means hang time t is equal to t up plus t down. So, t is equal to add both. When you add, you will get 2 vi sin theta over g. Okay. Now, you don't know V i. How to find out V i? It is simple from the uh, range equation. We know range is equal to, in projectile motion, formula for the range. Range is equal to V i square sin 2 theta over g. Okay, and then here the range, maybe you, you know theta, you know g, you know the range given as 220. So, you can easily find out Va from this. And then from this Va, you substitute here, you can find out the t. Okay, now let us do the problem. So, we input the values and then solve the equation. Va square sine 2 times 45 divided by 9.8. Okay. Now, sine 40, sine 2 into 45 is equal to sine 90. And then sine 90 is equal to 1. Therefore, what happens to this equation? 220 is equal to vi square over 9.8. Therefore, Vi square is equal to 220 times 9.8 or Vi is equal to square root of 220 times 9.8. And then if you input the value, you will get 
36.43 meters per second. Now substitute this value here and then you will get the T. Therefore, T is equal to 2 into 46.43 times sine 45 degrees. divided by 9.8. Therefore, T is equal to, what is the answer? We input the values. 6.7. 6.7 seconds you get. Okay, this is the hang time of the arrow. That means the time uh, spent in uh, by the arrow in the air. Now, what is the second bit? Somebody is dropping the apple from 6 meters. Okay. Here is the apple. Somebody is dropping the apple from here onto the tree. And the distance is 6 meters. So as it is coming down, I will put this distance as minus 6. Okay, now we have to find out the time taken by the apple to reach the tree. Time taken by the apple to reach the tree. This we can find out using the formula d is equal to vit plus half at square. Here, initial velocity is equal to 0 because the apple is falling from rest. So, d is equal to 0. Here, the d is minus 6 meters. So, if I directly input that value, so minus 6 is equal to 0 plus half into minus 9.8 times t square. Therefore, t square is equal to minus 6 into 2 divided by minus 9.8. Therefore, t is equal to, from this, if you solve this equation, how what is the value we are going to get? One point one. 1.1 seconds. Okay. Now, how long after the arrow was shot should the apple be dropped? For that, what we have to do is, this is the time for the apple to reach the tree. And then uh, hang time of the arrow is 6.7 seconds. So, if we subtract this one, this time from the hang time, then we get the actual time. Uh, how long after? Okay. Uh, time to drop the apple. Mm. Oh, I will write like this. T is equal to 6.7 minus 1.1 is equal to 5.6 seconds. So 5.6 seconds is the time after uh, shooting the arrow, you have to drop the apple. Apple should be dropped after 5.6 after 6.5 seconds of shooting the arrow. So that the arrow will pierce the apple. Okay. I hope you understood the question. Okay. Any doubts, you put the comment session. I will explain. Okay.